Hi, and welcome to In The Loop. I'm Danine O'Donnell, and with me today is Sarah DeBella from Butler County Tourism. And Sarah, it's been a very long winter, and I hear the groundhog has predicted it's going to get even longer. So people are getting cabin fever, and they're looking for stuff to do. And I hear you may have an idea for them coming up. I do. We're actually having the first ever celebration of chocolate. It's going to be mm -hmm. in Cranberry this month. Okay, now when you say a celebration of chocolate, um, what, what is that exactly? It's like a festival or what yeah, kind of thing is it? Yeah, a chocolate festival for short. Um, we're going to have a ton of vendors with everything chocolate you can think of. Oh, yum. So when is the event? Yeah, the public's welcome. It's going to be February 22nd and 23rd, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, and where is it? Um, in Cranberry Township at the Pittsburgh Marriott North. Now, um, when people come to this, do they have to buy a ticket or is it a free event or how do people get in? They'll get in at the door. We have tickets. It's $10 for adults, five for children. Okay, and what kind of things can they expect to see? Like you said, you're going to have vendors, so people will actually be selling chocolate or giving out free samples or both maybe? Yes, selling chocolate, samples, demonstrations. Some of the demonstrations are going to feature some of the top chefs from the area. We have Brian Hammond of Restaurant Echo and Bill Atkinson oh. of the Chop Shop in downtown Butler. They're going to be showing you some different ways to use chocolate. Oh, yum. And then this, they'll give out samples, I assume, which is probably going to be my favorite yes, part. Yes, I sure hope so. <laughs> I'm wearing my chocolate. Yes, I heard that nice. you are having a some kind of fashion show. Is mm -hmm. that true? And what what's that involved. Yes, actually a small shop from Harmony called Eye Candy. They're having a fashion show of brown colored clothing. Oh, that's cool. And then is that stuff, will they sell it or actually draw attention to their shop up in Harmony yeah. too? So that's kind of cool. And then I heard a little rumor also about possibly a pie contest. Is this happening as well? There is a contest between um, the Great American Country Show Farm Kings. Some of them are going to be there doing a little competition. Oh, baking some pies from the Farm Kings, which is exciting, and you can see that show on Armstrong Cable also mm -hmm. on Great American Country. So that's kind of cool. Um, for those that don't know, those are local farmers in the area that have sort of their own reality show. So mm -hmm. that's kind of a fun twist. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then people will judge their pies, and then who the... The yep, the audience sure. gets to choose who's his best. That's cool. So what other kinds of things can they expect at this event? Anything We're going to have Willy Wonka there, actually. Get your picture, and he'll be selling golden tickets. Really? And what do you win with the golden tickets? The golden tickets are $5, and the winner gets to choose between a trip to Hershey Spa or Hershey Theme Park. That is a great idea, and I've been to Hershey before, and it's a great place to visit. So that's a great way to tie into this theme. Is it all local vendors mainly that are coming in candy stores and things like that? Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot from Butler County, but there's also some from the surrounding areas. Okay, and how can they find out more about this event? They can go to our website, visit butlercounty.com. We have a web page listing everything you need to know. Well, it sounds fantastic to me. Folks, if you're looking for something to do and getting cabin fever in one of your out of your house for the winter, this event sounds delicious. So be sure to check it out. For Armstrong, I'm Danine O'Donnell keeping you in the loop.